Okay, this video is meant to help you learn how to access your quiz that you've already taken and look to see what the feedback is or look to see what grades you got and what the right or wrong answers were. Um, so again, this video is meant to help you find a, a quiz that you've already taken and then see what you got right or wrong on it. So the first thing that you're gonna, going to want to do is find the course, go to the assessments area, and then you would click on quizzes. Okay, click on quizzes. Once you get to the quizzes, find the appropriate quiz, whichever one that you want uh, to look at, and then you would click on the arrow next to the quiz, and you would click on the submissions. Okay, so you're gonna click on the arrow next to it, and you're gonna click on submissions. Okay, once you've done that, you're going to get a view that's similar to this. It's not going to look exactly the same, but it's going to be similar, where they say attempt one. You're probably just going to have one attempt. You might have two. In my class, I generally let you have two chances to take a quiz if you'd like. Um, this one particular one has several just because it was a test. And I'm kind of playing around with it. Um, so you click on the attempt that you want to look at. In this instance, I'm going to do the, the most recent one. And then you're going to see the quiz. The quiz as you filled it out, the quiz that had the questions that you took as well as the answers. So here's the question up here. And then you're going to see how many points in this area that you got. There was one point possible. And this attempt got zero points out of one. Even though two of the responses were correct, there was one incorrect answer. So it meant it was a zero out of one. And you can see the feedback. And then the feedback, it might give you a little bit more hints on why that answer was incorrect. Then you go to the other questions and you see how you did. Over here, you can see that this person got one out of one, and the answer was correct. So again, the arrows are going to tell you which ones you got that were correct, and the Xs especially are going to tell you the ones that are wrong. In this particular instance, there was nothing marked because it was correct. Okay, and then you're going to see at the bottom kind of what the overall score was. So um, so once again, if you want to see how your, um, whether or not the answers that you put in were right or wrong and which ones were right or wrong and why, you would go to assessments, quizzes, figure out the quiz that you want to look at, click on the arrow next to it, click on submissions. Once you clicked on submissions, you're going to see something that looks similar to this. Probably there's just going to be one attempt. You'd click on that. You'd be able to look to see what you got right, what you got wrong. The arrows um, or the check marks, is, um, the arrows are going to mean that you got it right. The X is going to be what you got it wrong. Or you won't see anything if you got um, it all correct. And again, the, the scores are going to be on the right. But you would want to click on the feedback if there is a button for feedback, and that's going to give you more information on why you might have gotten an answer wrong. So again, this is how you can view your quiz scores and examine what you got right or wrong on those quizzes. You may also be able to view the same thing by going to assessment and grades and looking around there. But unfortunately, I don't have the same view as students and can't access that. But you might be able to find the same thing in the assessment slash grades area.